Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was raised from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us, in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all of this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. Today is Thursday, January 1st, 2015. Happy New Year's to everyone. Well, today there was a magnitude 5.1 quake that hit here off the coast of Northern California, up here, struck in the Pacific Ocean off the Northern California coast, right here, 70 miles west of the town of Ferndale. Now, this is another sign that we're nearing the end. This could be a sign from the harp machine, as some people have heard of, which is a machine that can actually cause earthquakes and such. But either way, we're going to show that this is a sign we're nearing the end of the age and when a great earthquake will hit California and the USA. And it begins the end of days, just as the day of judgment coming. And then the new world order actually rises up through there. But there's all the, all the signs of this will be right here. See, this is where the quake was. Gorda Escarpment. Bear Valley. This is also the time when Russia will be rising up. Eel Canyon. This is also the time when the serpent will receive its grievous head wound. Today I'd even shown about this article here from The Economist, which maps out the New World Order coming here. And it starts with this great earthquake. An 11.5 to 11.3 quake coming. You can see down here is this is the oil for in the Bible what's known as the wise virgins. See this big rocket ship here? And something's going to happen to Britain also. See how there's the Britain tags on there? But in the Bible it represents this woman being caught away. Right here. See the woman? This painting is even known as the unknown woman. See this? And then all this circus starts back here with the New World Order. With Russia and the Pied Piper and just nuclear war going on and the end shown right here the individual that's coming looks just like this this is called the this is the Hereford Mappa Mundi it's an old Templar thing and it actually maps out the end of days showing way up here you can actually see the beginning of the end will start with this angel and he's going to be casting down a great millstone. And the great millstone is seen as this bull. See this bull right here? See him? He's right here. I show how this stuff is mapped out all over the earth. And it's mapped out to show what's coming. Everything's going by the script of the Bible. How can this stuff be explained? God is real. Everything's going according to the script. He really made all the earth. Everything. Look at that. See this guy coming? This red bull? This bull figure right here? Just ask yourself. Take a few seconds. Stop the tape right here. Then look at it for a few minutes. And then say, Can you see this guy right here? He's coming. Oops, we moved that one. Here's the Hereford map of Mundi. You can see the same bull coming. On my channel, we've mapped this stuff out for years. We know that we've done this. See this Bear Valley things? He's even right here. Shown right, just like this. Do you see that? He's pushing the button right here for the fifth age of the Bible coming. We have three references to him right there, and he's this guy right on the top of the Illuminati box cover coming for the fifth age when you read this backwards backwards it says it animal I the beast coming see him coming down see this eagle flying away when some drastic event happens and he brings this idol worship he's the same guy on this glyph remember Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and set free from Moses to Jesus were in Egypt here he comes this red clown red bull figure see the V he goes through Obama, and some large giant event is going to happen to the USA. 
notice the millstone that has fallen into the sea right here. See the bull off and running? This also means World War III. And this is the event that starts it all. See these two domes? By the San Onofre power plant area that's been turned off and is practically a bomb. Just as the Diablo Canyon power plant up in northern LA and several other of these things all around the world are set to go practically. And then the Russian bear will rise up as the USA is crippled from a giant cataclysmic event of an earthquake just like the San Andreas Fault going and it's going to be so big that it will be felt on the East Coast and will actually sink New York underwater an 11.5 or bigger earthquake that moves the earth in Jeremiah 50 and in Jeremiah 51 it talks of the daughter of Babylon falling and all of these rising up the USA is called the Daughter of Babylon. And then the Mystery Babylon is the Vatican. The Vatican gets hit also, just like with these nukes. England's going to be hit. See the nukes? And then Russia rises up over here. I mean, here's Germany. And then Obama leading the whole pack with the New World Order and such coming all through there. There's the giant earthquake coming as the woman is caught away with the wings of an eagle in the Bible matching this. See the eagle leaving? The blue is leaving. The red comes for three and a half years to terrorize the world with this idol worship. There he is. See right here? The angel is right up here casting him down. There's the angel. You can even see here that he hits the power plant area. Take the bull off. And right here is the woman riding the beast when she is judged and burned with fire in the Bible when Babylon falls. See the woman riding the beast in the Bible. Right there. See the two domes now? The two circles? See the two domes and the phoenix flying as he's coming down right there? This is the grievous head wound event of the Bible also. In other words, all this stuff is supposed to happen. It's right in the Bible. This red area even maps out the time of the Exodus for when Moses went through here. It represents the Exodus happening and again. Just like with Sodom and Gomorrah were hit. So here is that bull. There he is. Coming. He is the millstone that is cast into the sea by the mighty angel, Revelation 18. And Babylon and Mystery Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, are destroyed by violence. Right there. Look, he's pointing at it. Okay, let's look at this right here. Just ask yourself, can you see this? Pick one thing. Look at this one guy. Don't let your vision bounce around. Can you see this guy? Can you maybe see him? Then he's there. Okay, God always backs stuff up. Look, we have this. I can, I can break out so many hieroglyphs. We could sit down here for, I mean, in evidence, we could sit here for the next 500 hours of evidence showing that this is coming, but we don't know the date. But God is giving us signals. And then right here, you can see him backed up by God. Look at this. This is him. And he has an awful lot to do with, with Islam. This guy is in Mecca, looking just like this. And in Washington, he's all around. But see that right there? He's the little horn of the Bible. Him. See the V? The bull? He's the little horn of the Bible. There, 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 and there. Confess with your mouth. The Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. This is real and right in front of us all day long. Happy New Year's, everyone. God is real. And may he have mercy on us all with his perfect lamb, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.